You are about to begin your DynaSplint instructional video, but just a note before we start. Most of the time, DynaSplint systems are a rental product, and you are responsible to return it at the end of your treatment so that you're not charged for the replacement cost of the splint. When your doctor, therapist, and DynaSplint sales consultant agree that your treatment is complete, please view the simple How to Return Your DynaSplint video located at the bottom of this page. The shipping's prepaid and your label's in the box. Now, let's get started. Welcome to DynaSplint. Congratulations and thank you for choosing us to help you restore your range of motion. We hope you find these videos helpful and easy to follow. Please refer to the labeling, tension setting, and positioning your Dynasplint consultant set for you on your initial fitting. Thank you, and we hope to stretch beyond your expectations. While setting at a table, open completely or loosen top of forearm cuff and strap. Hold the palmer piece section in the down position with the unaffected hand. Slide or lay the arm into the unit. The palmer bar should rest in the center of your palm. Align the upper and lower struts with the midlines of the sides of the lower arm. Align the cams with the wrist joint. With your unaffected hand, attach the DynaSplint system to the arm by feeding the top of forearm cuff and strap through the D-wire on the opposite side. Pull back hard. Fasten the Velcro sides together. Check cuffs for tightness. The patient should be inactive and relaxed while wearing the DynaSplint system. The most comfortable position while sleeping is with the arm supported on a pillow, while sitting with the arm supported so that it's level with the heart. In order to remove the DynaSplint, take off the cuff that says top of forearm and the two inch strap that is at the top of the wrist. Slide the hand out of the unit. Please review the tension your DynaSplint sales consultant set for you initially. In the beginning, the splint should be worn for two to four hours. Do not increase the tension until you can tolerate overnight wear. Time is the most important factor and your first goal should be six to eight hours of pain-free wear. After achieving this time goal, when you take the splint off, if you have less than one hour of stiffness, turn the tension up by one on both sides. However, if you are unable to wear the splint for a prolonged period of time, decrease the tension by a half to one full turn. During the process of regaining your range of motion, if you have any questions or concerns, contact your DynaSplint representative.